it's Kerry. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new here. Welcome to the vlog. Today's video um, is going to be about one of my pet peeves about my body, um, my tummy. So if you've been watching my channel for some time now, you'll know for me that my biggest area of concern and where I lack body confidence is in my tummy. It doesn't look too nice, but uh, I like to try and disguise that. So that's what video is going to be about today, about top 10 tips for how to disguise a bigger tummy. So tip number one, a bodysuit. So this one is kind of shapewear. It's from Primark. Um, I got it in the summer. I say summer, it's August now, but uh, we've not really had a summer. Um, so this one I think was about eight pounds. Um, it's not too constricted, so it's not like really, um, really constrictive shapewear, but it is enough to suck in the belly a little bit. So what I've done is I tend to wear something that's tighter on the top when I'm going for a top and bottom look. Um, kind of feels like a bit counterintuitive to wear something tighter around your around your top half where you are a little bit concerned about that. Um, but I think it does suck it in quite nicely. Pair it with some shorts or a short skirt or any kind of skirt really. Um, and the this skirt here, or it's actually Scorts, um, from New Look, I actually found this on Vinted, so you can still get some decent um, little finds on Vinted. So I've gone with a more fitted top and shorts. So if bodies aren't your thing, you can always go with a vest top, or this one is a scoop neck cami, which does have um, some of the shape wear incorporated into it. Um, so this one is from Empture, I think, Empetua. I will link it in the description if I can find it. So this is a, a body shaping cami you can wear. It's got adjustable straps as well, if that's not your thing. The only thing I would say about um, having a body on is knowing that it is not gonna ride up and you're not gonna have to keep on playing with it. The only annoying thing obviously is the poppers between your legs. So my next top tip, so top tip number two, is to wear something that draws your eye away from your belly. So I'm not the most well endowed girl on top here. I'm a C stroke D cup. So sometimes if you want to elevate a look and draw the attention away from the belly, I will wear a nice padded bra, something that's underwired to give you a bit of oomph. So I think if you're looking from the side now, you'll see that my Hopefully you'll see that my boobs look a little bit bigger. So that is one way of drawing attention away from the belly area. So the other way is to wear a scarf around your neck. So again, you're drawing attention away from the belly area and you're drawing it towards this. I love this scarf. I think I probably got it, I think last summer, maybe the summer before, probably the summer before for a wedding. Um, and you can see then the attention is drawn away from your belly and more towards the scarf. So, and this again is a look that you can use summer, winter, all year round. Tip number three, don't wear underwear that is too tight or knickers that are too tight because you're gonna get a bulge out of the side of them where it digs into your skin. Um, and you're gonna have that muffin top. So that obviously isn't a great look. You want to try and avoid that if possible. Tip number four, I normally like to wear a lot of colour, but when it comes to hiding a belly, so if I'm particularly bloated, time of the month or whatever, and I'm going out somewhere nice where I don't necessarily want to have my belly on show, I will wear a black top. So again, black, um, and I find that black tends to cover things better than white, um, and it just kind of gives you that natural slim cinched in look. So tip number five, high-waisted. So this is one that, that it took me quite a while to get into, but I do think when you're wearing something that's high-waisted, again, it does take away from the belly. It doesn't necessarily have to be high-waisted jeans. You can wear a skirt, perhaps, that looks nice. I will be showing this one a little bit as well. So um, yeah, anything high-waisted, again, it's gonna help to hold that body blubber in if you like and tip number six is posture 
So it seems like a really, really simple thing, but if you're slouch, you're gonna have your belly coming out a little bit more, but if you naturally lift up, that belly's gonna come in, you're gonna engage your core, and therefore it's going to look a little bit flatter. So tip number seven, I said this skirt would be making an appearance. Uh, tip number seven is vertical lines. So it can be like I've got here with a pleated skirt, or like this dress here, for the most part anyway, it's got lines going down. The reason for that is because it elongates your body. So if you're quite short like me, I'm only five foot four and a half, and that half is very important, um, you will find that long lines really do help to elevate the look. I find it really, really flattering to wear anything that has got vertical lines, so that can be on top or on the bottom. So tip number eight, and probably one of my firm favorites is ruching. So ruching will hide a lot of those details that you don't necessarily want to be brought out. Um, so I've got ruching on the side, you've got ruching in the center and on the back on this. So for me, I really do like a ruched look. You can also do that in tops. So, we have this ruched top here, which I'm just going to pop on over the top of this and you'll see the effect. So here we have uh, ruching now on the sides and you'll see, for me, I think that hides that belly. This makes me feel so much more confident because I know that there's not too much action going on around the belly area. You can just go for ruching on one side. So this dress has ruching on just on this side when I've worn it previously. Again, it gives the same sort of effect here. Obviously the um, pleats in this are a bit wider than they are in this one, um, but it does look gorgeous on. Unfortunately, I can't fit into this dress anymore, um, but I do have it on my Vinted if you'd like to buy it. So tip number nine is kind of two in one. So floaty can be your friend as well as being a little bit skimped in. Um, and what I would say as part of this next tip is sometimes with a floaty dress, it's nice to have a bit of detail around the middle. So with this dress, you'll see that it kind of cuts off here at the bust line. Um, so I want to put a belt around it and you can see that that has a nice effect as well. I get it in the right place. And so there we have it. So we can wear something that is nice and floaty, but also just cinch it in at the waist a little bit, accentuate those curves. And again, for me, that this makes me feel a lot more confident. So my last tip, tip number 10, is to wear a wrap style dress. Um, now again, it brings you in underneath your bust line. I do have this wrap here. It happens to also have the stripes. So obviously you've seen this dress earlier in the video. Um, and again, because it brings in, it accentuates the bust a little bit more, takes away from the tummy. So I think this dress kind of culminates quite a few of these top tips. But again, I do really, really love this dress. It's nice and stretchy. It's, um, it's from Oasis. I think I got it about two or three years ago, but it does the job perfectly and really does help my confidence. It doesn't just have to be a wrap dress that you do. You can also have this effect with a shirt as well. Um, unfortunately, this shirt is too small for me, so I can't really show you too much about it. It has still got the tag in it. My husband got me it for Christmas. I think last year, maybe the year before, um, and I've still not been able to get into it just yet. But what you would normally do is tuck it into jeans, but instead of doing the buttons up, you can just wrap it across the top and then put it into your jeans that way. And I'm wearing it like this, but just with a vest top underneath. So again, I think that looks really, really cute. It's a bit more dressy as well. So again, another top tip there. I unfortunately, I just can't pull it off right now. So that's my top 10 tips. I am now going to go and put some makeup on because I'm going out for dinner with my husband and my mother-in-law and you'll see which outfit I choose. So this is the outfit that I went with in the end. It's the one that makes me feel most confident and because it's stretchy, I know I've got room to eat <laughs> in it. So a quick summary then of those top 10 tips. So the first one being to draw the eye elsewhere, whether that be with a scarf, whether that be with um, maybe accentuating the girls a little bit more. 
Next one would be posture. So make sure that you're stood straight, engage that core. That's really gonna help as well. Vertical stripes is a good one too. We've got um, side wrap dresses or a shirt, ruching, either that be on the top or the bottom, making sure that you don't wear underwear that is too tight so you don't get big bulges. Wearing a body shaper doesn't have to be massively expensive. Like I said, the one that I got from Primark was only eight pounds. Um, something floaty is also nice. Wear something high-waisted. And again, if all else fails, just wear something black on top because I think that minimizes the look. So that's it. That's my top 10 tips for how to disguise a bigger tummy. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do consider subscribing. It's a small thing for you, but it means the world to me. Um, and I would really, really appreciate it. Again, like, comment. If you've got any trouble areas maybe that you'd like some advice on, on how to disguise them, then leave them in the comments below. Or if you've got a, another top tip for hiding your belly um, that I haven't covered in this video, then again, leave it in the comments below. Do share this video with your friends at all on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, again, give it that thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.